Foxes of the Romero family and owner of the New Black Wall Street. Not too long ago, there was police audio of a cop being heard talking about us blacks or the wealthy blacks going back to our own little communities. And he added that none of us better get in his way. My initial thought upon hearing it, I was like, who the fuck is he to talk about blacks better not get in his way? As if he had some say so about where the fuck we could be or not be. But I also started to think, maybe he's right. Maybe we should go to our own little community and stay out of the way of people like him. It'll be a lot less confrontational that way. But I started to think over the situation again. When our forefathers created their own communities, trying to stay out of the way of whites back then, the whites still came to steal, to kill, and to destroy those black communities. So now, I've come to divide my people from the rest of the world. A world that wants to implement bullshit policies and practices to divide us from them anyway. We will no longer play third class citizens in this piece of shit whole country that gives no fucks about us. Here's the irony of the whole thing though. I've seen many whites on social media talking against reparations for black folks. Like this fucking country doesn't owe it to us. And talking about how their forefathers never owned any slaves. But, I guarantee that when the new black Wall Street officially opens up for business, it'll be those very same people who said that their forefathers never owned any slaves will be the first to show up here to burn it down, all under the guise of calling it a racist place. So I'm pleading with you, for your sake, leave us alone. Don't get in the way of our success and let us live and prosper in our own little community. Baby, you give me midnight You whip up my appetite. Don't leave me in.